Hey y'all, my name is Morgan and today I'm going to be performing a bed bath for my client, Miss Smith. Before I do anything, I want to gather my supplies, check doctor's orders, and then I'm going to knock on my patient's door, provide privacy, introduce myself. Hey Mrs. Smith, my name is Morgan, I'm your student nurse for today. I am then going to do a hand sanitizer. I'm then going to check my patient's name, date of birth on the wristband, make sure it matches the patient. I'm supposed to be doing a bed bath for Miss Smith, can you state your name and date of birth? Thank you. Um, I'm going to be putting it a little Okay, Miss Smith. Um, no, I'm explaining to my patient what I'm going to be doing today. Miss Smith, we are going to be performing a bed bath today. Is that okay? Are you doing okay today? She states yes. I'm going to raise my bed to a good working level. And this time I would have the water running to get it to a warm temperature. That way it's um, an appropriate temperature for the, ten temperature for the patient. So like I said, I'm going to make sure I'm on supplies already and ready out. I'm going to explain um, to my patient. I already explained to her. I'm going to place my bed bath over my patient or my bath sheet over the patient. At this time, I would remove the gown. Okay. 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 For educational purposes, I'm going to use the same um, gown again, but usually you would dispose of the gown and dirty linings and get a new gown. At this time, I'm going to ask my patient to hold her bath sheet up here, just like this, that way I can remove her linen. to the bottom I then want to fan fold my sheet make sure to keep my patient covered to keep her feeling like she is uh, respected so at this time my water is ready I'm going to start with my patient so I'm going to get in a mid position. The face you can do with or without soap. For purposes, I would prefer to not do soap because you don't want to risk getting it in the patient's eyes. So the mid um thing. You're gonna go inner to out and down. A different part of the rag. Inner to out and down. And then you're going to rinse. If I had a bill patient. And then you're going to 
Yeah. Then I'm going to remove it, put it back in the bucket. I then would remove an arm out from under the sheet if it's not already out. I'm going to use the mint technique again. I would then apply soap with my water. I'm going to run down my patient's hand with this side and then I'm going to use the underarm, put in the water, get new soap, and go down my patient's hand right here. I'm then going to pat it down. At this time, I would ask my client, Miss Smith, would you like me to apply deodorant for you today? And then she states yes, so I would apply deodorant. At this time, do your patient's hands. You can get a new bucket of water, put a little water in there, have your patient soak her hand fingertips, and you could, with soap, Wash your hands between fingers, do your fingernails, so on and so forth. You would also do the other side as well, but for video purposes, I'm not going to do that so the video is not very long. So after you do your arms, I'm going to get, um, I'm going to do her chest. So I'm going to put soap and water again, do the mitt. All right, Mrs. Jones, I'm going to lay so you right So, I'm going to start okay. right here and, and go point, down. I you want to make sure to clean up underneath a woman's breast and, um, if, they, if it's a woman. Clean again. I would then remove my gloves. Go down. Sanitize, replace my gloves on. Dispose of all of the dirty wipes. And put it back and in the water. The and this time, I'm going to move to her stomach. So... And then I'm going to put that back in the water, and then I'm going to pat my patient dry. She says she doesn't. At this time, I would then cover my patient back up, um, and then I'm going to move to her legs. So I'm going to remove one leg out. This time, I would do soap and water again. So, soap and water, I'm then going to rub down my patient's leg. And then I'm going to go up with a different part of the rag. At this time, I'm going to keep my patient's leg up. Grab a, another dry towel and pat dry. Pat dry underneath because you don't want to create any kind of wet spots to create friction. So patients pat dry down. At this time, you're going to do soap and water again and move to the feet. So down with this side and then up. And then you want to make sure to go between the toes. So I rinse again, get more water in between the toes. Another thing is, is when you're going from top to lower extremities, I would make sure to get a new bucket of water um, just to keep the water clean. So after I finish with the abdomen and before I do the leg, I would move to a new bucket of water. So at this time, her feet are done, her toes are clean. I'm going to explain to my patient that I'm going to be rolling her over to the right or her left side. That way I can get to her back. So, Miss Smith, we're going to roll you over to your back so I can clean your back. Is that okay? She states yes. So, on the count of three, one, two, three. Try to keep your patient covered as much as possible. If you want to close that privacy curtain, if you feel more comfortable, you're fine to do that. This time I'm going to get soap and water again in the mint position. And then going to go down my back. I get more soap and water. And down my back. At this time, I'm going to get another towel and pat dry. 
After I pat dry, I would then ask my patient if they want me to apply lotion or give them a back rub. Miss Smith, would you like any lotion or a back rub today? She states no. So then I would turn my patient back over and perform perineal care, which is in another video. And after I would perform perineal care, I would move on to taking care of the rectal and anal area, cleaning them as well, which is in another video. So after I am done, I'm going to um, get my patient. So I'm going to place a new gown on my patient. Once the gown is on my patient and secure, I could then remove my bath blanket. I'm going to dispose of that. Um, before I changed the linens, I would have done um, proper hi or hand hygiene. I would have hand sanitized and applied new gloves to keep everything dry. So, hand hygiene and new gloves. After this, I am then, our, our gown is on and ready. If needed, we would change her linens, but for this purpose, her linens are okay. <laughs> so I'm going to place her sheet back over her. I'm going to ask her if she needs anything else as I get my supplies together, um, dispose of my dirty linens, and then I'm going to lower my bed to the lowest position and ask my patient if there's anything else I can do for them today. Miss Smith, is there anything else I can help with you today? Um, she states no, that she is fine, so I'm going to lower the bed, make sure all bed rows are up. I'm going to document whatever skin assessments that I found that were abnormal, and then I'm going to also document what I did. So I gave a bed bath, and then if her skin was clear, I would note that all her skin is clear of any irritation or friction or rub spots, so bed is in the lowest position, call light is in within reach, I'm going to go document, or after call light is in reach, I'm going to perform hand hygiene, remove my gloves, my hand sanitizer on, and then I'm going to go document.